So get this, almost $18 billion, yes, with a B, has been stolen by crypto scammers in the last two years alone. Crypto scams are the most widespread they've ever been. And since I've been in the space for a while, I've seen so many cases of just heartbreaking scams and people getting cleaned out for gut-wrenching amounts of money. So I'm here to help put a stop to that. In this video, we are exposing the most common crypto scams, looking at exactly what they look like with real-world examples and how you can avoid them. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've clicked a lot of dangerous links for this, so drop a like if you appreciate all the risk I took to show you the inner workings of these scams. Now, let's see how many times I can say scam in 10 minutes. Leave a comment down below with your best guess and let's get right into it. This first one is a true story from a viewer who I'll refer to as T for obvious privacy reasons. About a year ago, T was texted by someone on his Telegram channel. He didn't know the person, so he didn't respond immediately. Okay, so time out here. This is the first major red flag that T picked up on. If someone you don't know direct messages you out of the blue, especially on Telegram where bad actors unfortunately run rampant, just assume that they are a scammer and block or ignore them. Now, I get that people are looking for personal connections on places like Telegram, but but scammers are using that to their advantage, which creates these scenarios. They befriend you and build trust before they ask you to do the real part of the scam. So the day after the first message, T responded to the person and they started a conversation. After a month, this new friend started to talk about crypto and how much money it had made them. Now, T was never really into crypto, but he was interested in how the other person had managed to make their fortune. The person guided T to a fairly legitimate looking website, complete with a registered company certificate, physical address, and white paper. But if you dig deeper, you'll find that the company certificate appears to be fake, the address is a residential house, and the white paper was only two pages written in broken English. So as someone who has seen just about every trick in the book, this screamed scam to me, but to the untrained eye, it looks very convincing. Also, if it's not obvious, the person who reached out to T is the same person that's running the fraudulent website or at least working together with them. So T made an account and started to deposit crypto and unfortunately brought in some friends who also made deposits using crypto purchased on a popular exchange. Over the next 12 months, T kept investing and at the end of the year, he had put in about $15,000 which had tripled in value to $45,000. Now notice how I said investing and tripled in value in quotes. This is because the people on the other side almost definitely weren't making any investments and just pocketed everything for themselves. They claim to invest it, but they don't and instead show you a fabricated dashboard with your account value going up. Remember, it's all fake. These are all just numbers they show you on a screen with nothing real behind them. There's no real way for you to verify that they actually invested it. Now, here's where the scam becomes clear. When T wanted to make a withdrawal, they refused, coming up with a whole bunch of clearly bogus excuses. T caught on at this point, especially since his new friend and eventually the fake company completely ghosted him. T refused to send any more money and demanded his money back. But unfortunately, it was too late and barring a miracle, the money was gone. Now, sometimes these scammers do allow you to withdraw once or twice to build trust, especially so you'll trust them with even more money and maybe tell friends and family about it, both of which happen in this story. They'll also typically demand that you pay an additional fee on top of what you sent them to unlock withdrawals. And again, this is just another attempt to extort more money out of you since it was all fake from the start and they never intended to give you your money back. Then the scammers ride off into the sunset, leaving their victims high and dry with no real way to get their money back. Since, you know, transactions on the blockchain are final and there isn't much legal action you can take since the space is highly unregulated. Even outside of crypto, this is a common scam since some bank transfers are also irreversible. If there is one positive to the story, it's that T only lost $15,000, not the $45,000, which again, wasn't ever real gains. On top of that, this was during a period of extreme volatility, so even if T had invested that $15,000 himself, it would probably be worth far less than his initial investment anyway. You know, not a full loss, but you know, I'm trying to look on the bright side here. So T, if you're watching this, I am truly sorry and I hope that my advice helps you. I'm sure you will bounce back from this and I hope that your story can help others avoid this scam. 
And after investigating them, I found out that both their scam sites have been taken down, so that's two points for the good guys. The second scam to watch out for also involves scammers reaching out directly to you, but this time pretending to be either official support from a platform you're using or just a helpful community member. Thankfully, this one is a little more lighthearted and no one was hurt in the making of this, except for the scammers who ended up wasting their time and sanity for this Reddit user's entertainment, get bogus style. So I'll just start this story with, if someone messages you directly or DMs you on Reddit, Discord, Twitter, or any other social media, just assume they are trying to scam you and do not click any links or respond to them. Even the YouTube comments here have a lot of scams. The one thing that you should do though is subscribe so you can learn more about these scams and crypto or personal finance in general. Anyway, these scammers mostly prey on people asking for help and will direct you to a fake website. So let's take a look at example of this from one of the numerous scams I found on Reddit. So the scammer is pretending to be a friendly person in the community wanting to help someone with a simple transaction. So this Reddit user posted on the Solana Reddit asking for help and is fortunately very aware of all the scams. He was just posting to bait some scammers and mess with them like I mentioned earlier. Almost immediately he gets two messages and again this one was by far my favorite the scammer says the transaction is quote stuck because of an error with the mainnet api node block and later says he needs to desegregate the api node using the web3 block reset repository interface now that all sounds really scary especially to someone new to crypto but they literally just smashed a bunch of technical buzzwords together that don't mean anything desegregation of an api node block web3 block repository interface yeah that's definitely an issue with your flux capacitor we might need to drive through the lightning bolt at exactly 88 miles per hour. So yeah, that entire sentence was complete nonsense. Our valiant Reddit user pretended to be confused by the instructions before the scammers finally gave up and stopped responding. I'll link the Reddit post down below if you want a good laugh. So crypto is complicated, but if it's coming from a random user on social media, they're likely trying to make it sound more complicated than it actually is so that you just get confused and do what they say. Now, we're about to fly into the danger zone. Do not do any of what I'm about to do. This is so that you can see what the full scam looks like. If you click that link like I did here and clicked literally any of these options, it always leads to the same thing. It will have a field that asks you for your seed phrase, which will give the scammers full access to your wallet, even if you use a hardware wallet. Some of these sites are more sophisticated and use Wallet Connect, which runs malicious code that also gives the scammers full access to your wallet, and again, also if you use a hardware wallet. So be very careful doing anything on any website. The internet, and especially crypto, is still the wild west, so you need to keep your guard up. This last one is a quick one I wanted to show you, and it involves airdrops. This is basically where you get tokens for free for just holding another coin or token. Now, there are some legit airdrops like on the Cosmos network, but unfortunately, pretty much all of them are scams these days. Take a look at one of my wallets on the Polygon network, which is just riddled with these scam airdrops. You see that I have Polygon Matic, which is the only thing I've ever sent to this wallet, as well as these two other tokens. And if you didn't guess, these are the completely worthless scam airdrop tokens. So just like in the previous scam I showed you, interacting with these tokens in any way also runs a malicious code that also gives the scammers full access to your wallet, again, even if you are using a hardware wallet. The best way to avoid this scam is to just ignore them. If an unexpected token shows up in your wallet, search the name of the token plus scam into Google and you'll likely find your answer there. Most wallets let you hide or ignore tokens which will stop showing these tokens on your wallet without you interacting with them and it won't trigger that malicious code. They will still be on your address but you won't actually see them. Ignorance is bliss, right? So that's it. Those are all the most common crypto scams that are being used right now. Thank you so much for watching. If this helped you, leave a like to get this info out there and help other people avoid getting scammed. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.